When your team is in trouble, whom do you turn to? For me, it would be Rahul Dravid. Whether it was facing a daunting target, dealing with a difficult pitch, or battling against a formidable bowling attack, Dravid's presence at the crease instilled a sense of confidence and reassurance in his teammates and fans alike. What does the perfect technician care about playing conditions? Home or abroad, spinning tracks or seeming pitches? Not much. This is what makes Rahul Javed India's Mr. Dependable. So today, as we reflect on the legacy of this cricketing titan, we celebrate Rahul Javed, a symbol of resilience, determination and excellence on the cricket field. Javed's journey commenced at the tender age of 12, marking the genesis of a remarkable career that would span decades. Rising through the ranks, he showcased his talent and dedication earning selection for Karnataka at various youth levels, including under-15, under-17 and under-19. Dravid made his Ranji Trophy debut in 1991 while still attending college. And for five years, he kept on piling up runs which made his call-up for the Indian side inevitable. However, he wasn't particularly successful with the bat in his debut, scoring only three runs before being dismissed by Muthaya Mullitharan. Clearly, his start to the ODI career wasn't that great. But his test debut was quite the opposite. And actually, Javid was included in the team at the last minute to make his debut against England. He did not disappoint his coach as he scored a commendable 95 runs at Lords, which helped the team to mount a total of 429 runs. Rahul Javid's early years in international cricket mirrored his international debut. He had contrasting fortunes in the long and shorter format of the game. While he was successful in test cricket, he struggled with ODIs. Even he was dropped from the ODI side a few times. But the man of such immense talent as Rahul Javid cannot stay down for too long. When he was ready, he was ready to be the best. In the 1999 Cricket World Cup, a new Rahul Javid came to the field. Javid finished the tournament as the top scorer with 461 runs from 8 games at an average of 65.85 and a strike rate of 85.52. He was a world-class player and Equally hard to overcome as Tendulkar was. Renowned for his rock-solid defence and impeccable footwork, Javid was a master craftsman at the crease. Javid's patient approach allowed him to weather even the most hostile bowling attacks, while his impeccable short selection and exquisite timing ensured that he could punish any loose deliveries with finesse. His ability to anchor the innings, absorb pressure and build partnerships earned him the respect of teammates and opponents alike. In moments of crisis, Javid stood tall like a fortress, his grit and determination shining through. He was the backbone of the team and once Rahul Javid got set on the pitch, there was no stopping him. And this is evident from Steve Waugh's comment. Try to take his wicket in the first 15 minutes. If you can't, then only try to take the remaining wickets. The Javid stance was orthodox, classically sideways on, head inclined and set slightly forward in the stance. The strokes come from a base of excellent footwork, a short powerful bat swing and clear decision making. Rahul Javid's square cut was a thing of beauty, executed with precision and timing. With a swift flick of the wrists, he dispatched the ball through the offside with elegance. And even the traditional strokes of excitement, the pull, hook and sweep were executed with textbook accuracy and minimal risk. Yet, for a man who came to be stereotyped as one-paced and one-dimensional, he could stroke the ball around when the mood struck him. For example, he struck 92 of just 63 balls against England in 2007. And as a matter of fact, David had an excellent record in England in testing conditions, a place where most visiting batsmen struggle. He scored 600s in 13 tests at an average of 68.8. Even in his farewell series in England, when others, including Sachin Tendulkar, struggled, Javid single-handedly held the fort for India with three hard-fought hundreds. Javid compensated for his lack of athleticism with sheer hard work and powers of concentration that were almost yogic. In Adelaide in 2003, when India won a test in Australia for the first time in a generation, he batted 8.35 minutes over two innings. A few months later, he was at the crease for more than 12 hours for the 270 that clinched India's first series win in Pakistan. That's just how determined he was about staying on the pitch, no matter what. The constantly dripping sweat from his face onto the pitch was the ultimate proof of Javid's dedication. In 2001, 
the invincible Australians were on a roll with 16 test wins in a row. India had lost the first test match in a ruthless manner. In the second match at the famous Eden Gardens, when Dravid came out to bat with Vivius Lakshman, India needed 42 to avoid an innings defeat. And then history was made. Facing a formidable Australian bowling attack, the duo showcased exceptional composure and technique as they defied the odds. Javid's solid defence and Lakshman's exquisite show play complemented each other perfectly, forming a dominant partnership that destroyed the Australian bowlers. Javid scored 180 runs in this innings, and this innings and partnership changed the fortune of Team India as not only did they win the Test match, they went on to win the series as well. And winning a series against that Australian team was a dream for every other nation. Javid's selfless nature as a player always made him stand out from the rest. When Team India fell short of an opening batsman, he would step up to bat. When India needed a slip fielder, he came forward to be at the slip. When the team needed a wicket keeper, Dravid was the one who took on the responsibility to help the team. There are numerous occasions when Rahul Dravid has kept the team before him. And for me, this makes the wall a legend of Indian cricket. The noble career has stretched across 164 tests scoring 13,288 runs at 52.31 with 36 hundreds. In ODIs, he went on to score 10,889 runs from 344 matches at 39.16 with a reasonable strike rate of 71.24. Rahul Javid has faced the most number of deliveries ever in Test cricket history, facing 31,258 balls and also spent 44,152 minutes at the crease which is the highest time spent on the crease by any player in Test cricket. The wall is the fourth highest run scorer in Test cricket after Sachin Tendulkar, Ricky Ponting and Jack Callis. With 210 catches, Rahul Dravid holds the record for taking the most catches in Test cricket. Dravid has hit the second most fours in Test cricket history, hitting 1,654 boundaries. The ultimate tribute to Rahul Dravid was paid by former Aussie baseman Jason Gillespie, who stated, that he could not recall beating him more than one ball in a row. Behold the numbers. Over 13,000 test runs, more than 10,000 runs in ODIs. Javid's record speaks volumes about his greatness. But it was his impact on the game that truly set him apart. Without Javid, India's rise to the top would not have been possible. His elegant batting style, meticulous technique and leadership qualities have left an indelible mark on the game. However, as we delve deeper into the rich tapestry of Indian cricket history, it's impossible to overlook the profound impact of another legend, Saurav Ganguly. Click on the video being displayed on your screen to relive the extraordinary career of Ganguly, the god of the offside. Until next time, keep watching this beautiful game. See you soon.